गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस लतीफ सर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रोल इंपॉर्टेंट रोल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन इंडस्ट्री इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज व्हाट आर द रोल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स ऑफ साइंस दैट इज हाउ केमिस्ट्री इज रिलेटेड टू मेडिसिन हाउ केमिस्ट्री इज रिलेटेड टू कॉस्मेटिक्स और क्लोथ्स ओके एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज केमिकल्स इन इंडस्ट्री दैट इज रोल ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन इंडस्ट्री many substances many substances or chemical compounds are found around us some of them they are naturally occurring substances naturally occurring organic substances such as methane propane organic means they are made up of carbon and many have been made by man that is uh, many substances are man made compound using naturally occurring inorganic substances such as hydrochloric acid limestone marble gypsum soap detergent plaster of paris cement glass uh, paint enamels so these are man made natural uh, man made substances and today in this video i'll discuss about the importance uh, important roles of this uh, substances chemical substances in our day to day life so first chemical substance is uh, methane it is a organic compound and it is it is a gas at room temperature methane is a gas at a, at a room temperature at the room temperature and it is a major component of natural gas compound uh, compressed natural gas that is cng okay and uh, we use cng as automobile fuel second compound is propane propane is also a colorless gas and uh, propane can be compressed into the liquid uh, into the form into the liquid form okay and liquefied petroleum gas that is lpg we use lpg as a burning fuel in the kitchen okay so use of lpg is given here lpg is a colorless gas that can be compressed into the form of a transportable liquid and liquefied petroleum gas which is a mixture of propane and other gases and it is a clean burning fuel used in the kitchen next chemical compounds is table salt table salt table salt is used for flavoring food and as a preservative of food and pickles so uh, a go good example of food preservative is table salt and it is also used in the manufacture of soap paper glass and substances such as sodium and chlorine next chemical substance is hydrochloric acid or hcl and it is a strong mineral acid and it is extremely uh, extensively used in chemical laboratories and in the household as cleaning agent so hydro one use of hydrochloric acid it is used in uh, in the household as a cleaning agent okay and and it is also used in the chemical laboratory next pesticide pesticides are also chemical substances that are spread over foods food gra uh, grains and vegetable to control the damaging effect of pest so what are pest pest are insect or animals pest are insect or animal that attack crops foods okay so uh, pest example of pest such as rat insect fungi bacteria and to uh, to control the damaging effect of pest we use pesticide so pesticide are all uh, some chemical substances that are spread over fruits good uh, food grains vegetables to control the damaging effect of pest such as rat insects fungi bacteria 
some example of pesticides are given here malathione uh, copper sulfate bordex mixture mix, uh, bordex mixture means mixture of copper sulfate and lime these are some common pesticide next one more uh, insecticide is given bhc benzene hexachloride benzene hexachloride malathion gamaxin or benzene uh, gam, benzene uh, gamaxin or benzene hexachloride these are used as insecticide next uh, chemicals uh, uh, compounds which are known as fertilizer 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 make the soil fertile by adding essential elements to the soil some example of fertilizers are ammonium nitrate superphosphate urea these are some example of common fertilizer okay example of fertilizer are given here you can see ammonium nitrate superphosphate urea these are some example of common fertilizer and this fertilizer uh, have contained that provide nutri uh, that that provide nutri uh, nutrition to the plant and plant can obtain nitrogen from ammonium nitrate urea phosphorus and uh, phosphorus from uh, superphosphate of lime potassium from from potash fertilizer and potassium and nitrogen from potassium nitrate so these important nutrition or important element which are uh, which are very essential which are very essential for growth of uh, plant such as uh, nitrogen phosphorus potassium this element can be obtained from this fertilizer next limestone and marble limestone and marble limestone what is limestone limestone is a white sedimentary rock it is a sedimentary rock also known as calcium carbonate limestone is a white sedimentary rock it is also known as calcium carbonate and limestone is used to make white paint white cement tooth powder and toothpaste okay. so these are use of limestone it is a white sedimentary uh, rock and lime uh, component of li limestone limestone mainly calcium carbonate okay CaCO3 and it is used to make white paint white cement tooth powder toothpaste okay and it is also used limestone is it is also used in glass manufacturing uh, manufacturing industry as a source of calcium and carbon dioxide and marble marble it is a, a metamorphosed limestone the famous Taj Mahal in Agra is made up of white marble and marble is also used used to make floor tiles okay so marble is one type of limestone it is a metaphor metamorphosed limestone and li uh, marble is used to make floor tiles next chemical substances i mean chemical compounds is gypsum and plaster of paris gypsum and plaster of paris what are gypsum gypsum uh, gypsum is hydrated calcium phosphate gypsum is the high, is hydrated chemical uh, calcium sulfate that is caso4 and plaster of paris is formed when gypsum is heated gypsum generally contains some uh, some uh, small amount of water but if you heat gypsum this water will remove from gypsum and the gypsum will be converted into plaster of paris plaster of paris that is pop okay so when gypsum is uh, heated you will get plaster of paris and plaster of paris is used in cast 
molds and pottery plaster of paris is used in cast molds and pottery and it is also used in making decorative uh, ceiling in houses and decorative items next cement what are cement cement is a fine powder cement is a fine powder made up of limestone gypsum and clay you have to remember the components of cement cement is a fine powder made up of limestone gypsum and clay and it has good binding property it has good binding property and the, uh, hence hence it is mixed with water and used in the building construction okay white cement is used to make mosaic tiles and is used and is used in const, uh, construction and water repelling calcium stearate is mixed with cement in order to make the roof waterproof and cement is also used to make concrete for use okay so these are use of cement different use of cement <clears throat> next glass 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 what is glass glass is a uh, hard brittle and non crystalline material glass is a hard brittle and non crystalline material glass can be transparent translucent or opaque and it is prepared by heating silica that is sand it is prepared glass is prepared by heating silica uh, that is sand with sodium carbonate limestone and potassium or sodium nitrate at very high temperature glass is obtained or it is prepared by heating silica with sodium carbonate limestone and potassium nitrate at very high temperature and manganese compounds are added to decolorize the glass and to make colored glass a coloring agent is also used now to see types of different types of glass okay so first type of glass is sodium lime uh, soda lime glass soda lime glass soda lime glass it is used in making windows fans uh, drinking tram uh, tumblers and low cost glass ware okay soda lime
so labor uh, laboratory apparatus are made are made up by pyrex glass or borosilicates next quartz glass it is used to make crucibles and tubes that are used in lab uh, laboratories quartz glass it is used to make crucible uh, crucibles and tubes that are used in laboratories next photo photochromatic glass photochromatic glass this glass photochromatic uh, glass is used in making spectacles in making step and uh, spectacle uh, spectacles it is usually changes color when exposed to ultraviolet radiation and turns back to the uh, to its original color when when not exposed to ultraviolet radiation next optical fiber it is also one type of glass optical fibers uh, uh, glass is also used in making op glass is also used in making optical fibers these are flexible transparent fibers made of glass that are used as uh, used as telephone and internet wires television cables and in medical and in medical instruments such as endoscopes okay so optical fibers these are important type of uh, glass and and these glass are that is optical fibers these are flexible transparent fibers made up of glass and these optical fibers are used as telephone and internet wires television cable and in medical instruments such as endoscope so these are some common type of glass and their uses are also given here okay types of different types of glass and their uses that is soda lime glass hard or potter's glass flint or crystal glass septic glass colored glass pyrex or borosilicate quartz glass photochromatic glass and optical fibers so we have to remember the the different about the different types of glass yeah, and their uses next soap and detergent next is next type of chemical substances soap and detergent what are soaps and detergent soaps and detergent are man made sodium and potassium salt of certain hydrocarbon compounds these are sodium and potassium salts of high certain hydrocarbon compounds and soaps are manufactured at solid cake cake whereas detergent are manufactured detergent are manufactured in the form uh, powder form okay and cleaning property of detergent is stronger than that of soap soaps are uh, soaps are normally used for bathing uh, bathing and detergent are used for cleaning grease oil and dirt from clothes utensils and other items so use of soaps and detergent is given here you can see and their components that is how soaps and detergent are made okay soap and detergent are uh, these are uh, sodium or po uh, and potassium salt of certain hydrocarbon compounds and their use also given now see plastic what are plastic plastics and their types also given here you can see plastics you know what are plastic okay these are generally hydrocarbon compounds plastics and two types of plastics uh, plastics are given here thermosetting plastic and thermoplast thermoplastic thermosetting plastic and thermoplastic thermosetting plastics example of thermosetting plastics are bakelite melamine 
these are some example of thermosetting plastic thermosetting plastics such as bakelite melanin these plastics become set on heating thermosetting plastics become set on heating and cannot be remod uh, remolded on further heating this is a characteristic of thermosetting plastic they become set on heating and cannot be remolded on further heating and using this thermosetting plastic these are uh, these are used in making handles of utensils and uh, cabinets of television set now see thermoplastic such as such as a uh, polyvinyl chloride pvc polystyrene poly uh, polyvinyl chloride that is pvc polystyrene uh, polyethylene these are thermoplastic and th uh, thermoplastics can be remolded on further heating okay thermoplastics can be remolded on further heating and these thermo uh, thermoplastics are used in making cables of telephones electric uh, uh, wiring plastic pipes polyethylene bag plastic toys and other plastic items so types of plastic and their uses are also given here okay and with example you have to remember the example of thermoplastic thermosetting plastic and their uh, use okay next paint enamels and dyes <clears throat> what are paints first you have to read about paints then enamels and dyes separately is uh, separately given here so first paints paints are thick color uh, colorful chemical liquids paints are thick colorful chemical liquids that are made up of fine particle of zinc Mag uh, magnesium and aluminium salt suspended in a solvent paints are thick colorful chemical sub uh, chemical liquids that are made up of fine particle of zinc magnesium and aluminium salt suspended in a liquid and depending up uh, depending on the types of solvent paints may be water based or oil based two type of paints are there one is water based another is oil based based on the solvent used in the paint and common white paint is zinc oxide zinc oxide is used in uh, white paint okay and white paint is used in cosmetic industry it is also used uh, in plastic rubber soap ink paints are used in preventing rusting from iron buildings are painted to prevent decay due to moisture and growth of microorganisms so these are uh, use, defined uses of paint now see what are enamels what are enamels enamels are organic oil paints enamels are organic oil paints that are derived from plant resin okay so enamels which are organic oil paints and these enamels are obtained from plant resin and these enamels may or may not contain zinc aluminium and these enamels are used to paint household articles such as pots refrigerator and stoves next is dyes dye what are dye dye are also colorful or uh, colorful organic substance or organ organic compounds dyes are colorful organic substance or compounds that may be obtained from plants or prepared synthetically example of dyes alizarin red alizarin red indigo blue are example of common dyes and these dyes are used in textile industry to impart color to clothes these dyes are used in textile industry to 
uh, import the color to clothes okay there are some uh, synthetic dyes exist and synthetic dyes are used for coloring hair and skin here some example of uh, natural dyes are given turmeric saffron uh, these are uh, these are uh, strawberries red cabbage these are some uh, common uh, or natural food dyes okay that is these are used to color the food these are food dyes and next chemical compounds is uh, silicones silicones see silicones these are man made substances made up of a uh, made up of a combination of silicon with other chemicals so silicones are man made substances made up of a combination of silicon with other chemicals and silicones are very inert that is they are less reactive silicones are very inert and non toxic and hence these silicones are used in making tanned uh, food now the characteristic of silicones i've told that silicones are inert and non toxic and they have high melting and boiling points making them suitable in making non stick and heat resistant pants okay and they are also used as a lining of a lining of refrigerator and furnace and as anti freezing agent okay so these are some common use of silicon you have to remember okay and last is chemistry and defense chemistry and defense importance of chem role of chemistry in defense okay so chemistry has played an important role in warfare and weaponry some chemical substances such as tnt and rdx uh, research, uh, rdx research development explosive okay so these are chemical substances these are one type of chemical tnt means uh, trinitrotoluene these are explosive substances explosive chemical substances these chemical substances are used in in many battles okay so here it is written uh, chemistry has played an important role in warfare and weapon uh, weaponry the dynamic wet the dynamic battle suit with high tech capabilities with more comfort and lightweight design through a uh, design uh, through nanotechnology the launching vehicle missile warfare gases like chlorine chlorine phosgene explosive like tnt and uh, rdx okay have won many battles using this using this chemical substances rdx tnt these are chemical substances but used in uh, battles in during uh, during war okay so chemistry has many importance in uh, in in defense defense also okay and this chapter is completed next day i'll discuss about the question answer thank you students